All right, back to the grind. Wait, there was just a solid like twenty seconds of silence that I don't know when the stream began. Yeah, I, I know. It was, just, it was just now. Hello. Okay. I was just assuming that like we were going to like start, and then it was just gonna be twenty seconds of silence because that's our like feeling on how this uh, this game's going. Let's try to be positive. But let, let's try not to like shit on this game the entire stream. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the effort in, but uh, we got oh, well. maybe two or three streams left of this. Uh, we're on to Skyward Sword. The, the, we're in the Sky Temple, <laughs> and uh, unlike every previous stream, it's also only been like a week. But I took notes, so I actually like remember somewhat what we were doing. Mm. That's good. You, you figured it out. Oh, you know what I figured out? I don't out. see you taking out. notes. <laughs> I, what? what I did do is I, is I uh, managed to get a, co a uh, copy of, uh, of Fifth Element, so of whenever the, we get a group... Of the what? Oh, the, the Fifth movie, Element. Fifth Element. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna hear double for a second. I just, you sound a, li a little quieter than last time. Don't change yourself. <laughs> Are you there, Jack? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I thought you were telling me to shut up. <laughs> Are you there, Jack? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I thought you were telling me to shut up. No, I think it's all right. All right, cool. So, last time, we did something about... We lost the magic in the rod, and we need to do something with the uku and some statues. Uh, we also found out that the shaman has something to tell us about Ilya, and there is stuff at the marts. Yep. Uh, side quest, I, I presume. So let's, uh, let's go to Kakariko. Elden Province. Is there a ring there? Uh, Elden Ring. And he's like, what is this Elden Ring? Like, you know, apparently, like, the entire game is all metaphor. I don't know. I haven't played it. I want to play it, but my goddamn PC is not powerful enough. Yeah. I don't know when I'm going to get a, a better one. I'm saving all my money. No. Somewhere there's no people. <laughs> Go into the water. Live there. Die Just there. go a few feet away. That was really enough. Gone are days of land and fire. There aren't fire arrows, are there? Um, not yet. Maybe they aren't. Maybe there's no magic left in this world. Oh, Ooh. hello. You're a big fella. Have we met? A pity to fool. <laughs> Who are you, little human? The Let young lady's acquainted. Ilya? Ilya, you making Goron friends? Uh, oh, um, hey. Did you hear what the shaman said? Well, no, I'm, I wanted to talk to you. Why, why are you looking like a virgin? Uh, I have been waiting for you, Lincoln. Fortune has smiled upon us. If things go well, we should be able to help Ilya recover her memory. Maybe she doesn't remember us. Maybe he just told her what our name is. Yeah. Shad? Shad? Shadow? <laughs> Seems he is researching the heavens and has come here to see the statue in the basement of the sanctuary. As I've learned when Ilya was saved, she overheard someone talking about the Rod of the Heavens, or something like that. Or some- I like how the game pulls in, or something. There's a convenient series of events lining up. We must piece together the fragments of her past. Okay. It's, I, I guess that's standard amnesia affair. What we about must... the horse? What about we get, uh, Epona? 
We must retrace Ilya's path. I am certain it was Telma who cared for her before she arrived in this village, was it not? Oh, uh, we just- we were just there! Yeah, well, we're going back. Is that a letter or, like, a pack of playing cards? Or, like, trading cards? Shames me to say it, but to be honest, I cannot abide Telma's company. I, f I hate that woman. Fuck, Telma. <laughs> well, aren't you just a happy Goron? I think that's the Elder. Whether we get that girl's memory back, young warrior, will be up to you. Even our chief Darbus has lost the memory of his dark time. We have not told him that you- oh! Oh, we fought him! Yeah. He can be touchy if he knew he had been saved by a human. But he does have a strong sense of moral duty, so if anything happens, you can count on him to help. I may not like you, but I'll help you I, because he, you've done nothing wrong. I do, he doesn't look very stable. I don't know if I trust him being on a, like a, a high-profile mission. He look like he looks like he's screaming everything he's saying. This guy should be voiced <laughs> by Terry Crews. Oh my god, a guy who just seems so aggro all the time, but he's actually really like kind. Yeah. Like, girl, I will help you get your cat out of the tree. Don't be afraid. I am here to help you. <laughs> just, just like, like. It'd be like it'd be like if a a, a barbarian like character who just it's just Kipachi hosting the tea party for the little girls. Yeah. Well, before we go back to Telma, where's 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 the stores at? There's something new at the bomb store, and I want to uh, visit that Mallow Mart. Yeah. Baby store. <laughs> what? Woo. Oh. Good voice. <laughs> well, Gorons I, are enthusiastic. I feel like they reuse his voice from the old man at the uh, at the island, the smart one. Uh, maybe it sounds a little similar. I've heard from a reliable source that shops in Hyrule Castle Town are gouging prices, crushing folks under the thumb of commerce. Fear not, brother. For Mallow Mart has proposed a townspeople relief plan as an answer to the lamentations of the common man. That doesn't Maybe sound more. like a voice that says brudda. Repair the broken bridge leading from East Castletown to the field in order to improve traffic. Phase 2. Buy that Castletown shop and sell products to the town at reduced prices. I'm sorry, we need- okay. We need to we donate need? money to fix the bridge. We're fucking Animal Crossing now. How much money do you need? I'm once again asking you for your financial support. How much does he want? Oh, god damn it! <laughs> do I have anything else to spend rupees on? Let's visit the bomb shop first. Yeah. At least he took that rejection nicely. Hey. Hey, Lincoln. Buy, Buy something. <laughs> Allows you to see uh, distant objects. Hawkeye. Hawkeye Mihawk. Okay, well, I, we don't have that, so... Yeah, 100. 100 or not. I suppose I can pop with it. Oh, it's just... It's, is it just the telescope? It's binoculars. Oh, oh we can, have a zoom scope. We've got... It's a snipe, we basically purchased a sniper rifle. Time is money, ours... Price gouging at the shops. I loathe people who take advantage of the poor, unwashed masses. <laughs> Give me yeah. money. I don't like this place. <laughs> he just, what? No, but but contribute. We're. Oh, there's got to be a reward at the, for the side quest. Let me let me look it well, up. Well, we know what it does. It's going to be a thousand rupees to repair the bridge, so we can get to East Clocktown or East Clocktown Castle Town. East. Well, we, do we need to? Is it like? Well, that's phase one. So he will open a shop in Castle Town once we get the thousand and fix the bridge. 
He outlined okay, the plan very clearly for us. Yeah, but what's the reward? Mallow Mart. Oh. And maybe we'll get like a bomb piece or something to uh, bomb Regular piece. bombs, water bombs, and not that bomb you, bomb ling. Okay. It's sex bomb. Oh, they're only oh six rupees. I guess I'll buy one just to have it. Oh. We can only have one type of bomb. Well, should we replace the water bombs with the bombling? I think, I have a feeling that, like, we're going... Hmm, They're the same guess. price. Have we been really using bombs a lot these past few dungeons? Not really. No. Uh, here, buy back. How, how, how do I buy back? Okay. Next to this, next one. to this one. He's just gonna walk over to the other counter. Yep. Yeah. No. Uh, to the right. Yeah. Yay! Yeah, I guess he's gonna walk over. Yep. Welcome to the incredibly fancy bomb buyback counter. All right. Oh, splendid. Okay, well, at least we were able to get the rupees. Oh, I, I, yeah, I probably should have thought of that first. No, you got it, because you spent 100 on the... How, many, how much money do we have? Eh, enough. 200. I, so I assume once we have a type of bomb in our bag, that's the kind that we'll get out of treasure chests. Because we can't get any other yeah. type of bomb. It's Schrodinger's bombs. It uh, adapts to the one you already have in your bag. That's uh, ancient Hylian technology. All right, where's, where's Malomart again? It's it's like a straight line, but I, I d d find this Kakariko harder to navigate than the Ocarina one. Everything looks the same. I, I will donate to your bridge fund. <laughs> so, uh, are any of the other townsfolk going to contribute to this? No? Not Tom Nook, not Isabel, just me? Okay. You know, in a, a, different, a different universe, this game would have, like, deeper, like, uh, management of towns and stuff. And somebody would have released a DLC which would have made like Goron's like hostile and that's a problem because then they would start attacking your towns and then they would force you to pay reparations if you happen to kill one of their Gorons. If you take their capital, God help you because then they would demand you give it back and pay reparations. Guys, I think I made fish OP. <laughs> I just, I hear that, I, I see that guy, and I just can't help but thinking of that one meme of that guy going, I'm once again asking you for your financial support. Is that, that's Bernie, isn't it? I think that's Bernie. I know that, uh, I, I, when I, the thing I was talking about that actually happened with a game called uh, Endless Space 2, and it said, uh, was talking about it, and he was like, like, they made this faction which you can recruit, like, your uh, generals, like a like into a play into like an NPC faction, and then they would just attack you while neutral, and they they would demand that you pay reparations for them attacking you, because inevitably during the counter attack you would have killed some of their like things. But the thing is, you can't like contribute to the academy, which is the main mechanic, until you pay reparations, <laughs> and it's just like I was laughing so hard at that mechanic because it's like yeah, that sounds fucking hilarious. Just yeah. That sounds like There's something that the uh, the Enetroth would do. Hmm. The ultra greedy Wakfu race. <laughs> You're right. Just they would attack. They would attack your town, and then they would complain about their broken weapons and demand you pay reparations. <laughs> okay, boy. Vibrating intensifies. 
vibrating. What's wrong with the dog? He's vibrating. Did I just light a torch with a bone? <laughs> That's what it seems like, yes. Calcium. I felt pretty powerful at that moment. I forgot this game has a day-night cycle, but I also but it also really doesn't matter much. Yeah. Where the fuck's the bar again? <laughs> Can I just have a warp point to the bar? No, because every time you use a warp point, you gotta turn into a dog. Yeah, but there's no one down here. Oh, there's a nice, empty courtyard that is, like, unvisited by the unwashed masses. Mm. Well, you should see here on, uh, on, like, St. Patrick's Day, everybody, the whole thing's just crowded with people that are just sleeping off their hangovers. Alright. Hey, what's your beef with that shaman guy? That Ronaldo's a talented man. You got your own things to worry about, so you just make sure you do it neat. All oh, right, I gotta show her the, show her the item. Oh, he's helping. I don't need to be down there. He's not asking for my help, and any reason that I could find to stay out of his, to stay out of his presence would be just fine by me. Can I read it? No. I guess not. No, he's still in playing cards. Look, I got. Oh, is it for? <laughs> oh, it's from him. All this writing, and he doesn't bother to mention a thing about little old me. That's what I call rude. Alright, she's gonna lend a hand. First one to bring Ilya to this shop was that doctor. Maybe he knows something, but he's a crusty old bat, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm sorry, who's rude? It's just, she's just around Piku. Invoice? Wait, what? Wait, hold on. Oh, that I thought for a second that was like printer paper. I'm like, wait, what? We're on a fetch quest now. The Ilya fetch quest. Cat. We are going. Yep. Okay, we gotta check on the so chillins. Okay, but where's the doctor? We need to deliver the invoice to the doctor. Doctor's in town. I, I think I know where he's at just because I've mistaken it for the tavern so many times. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's, that's a common... That's a common mistake. You mean... People who are looking to go get drunk accidentally get a checkup, and people that are looking to get their foot treated accidentally just, like, order, like, 50 Budweiser's. Link, please. Whoa! What? I thought that guy was doing like a T pose for a second. That I guy missed over it. there. Who's this? She looks like a dancer, but I think this is a shop. Do you know a guy named Giovanni? Giorgio Giovanni? <laughs> he has a dream, you know? I think she's just trying to make me jealous. Strange things are happening. Some people are even saying it's the work of evil ghouls. You, evil like, ghouls. Like the ones in the castle that is in the middle of the town that is obviously, like, magically sealed? Yeah, it's fine. Things are uh, things are going at, like, normal. That that Tinkerbell woman, I'd love to talk to her. but like Unfortunately. She's... Cat. Mine. I'm Aww. taking this. We're going on an adventure, kitty. Oh, I can't throw the cat. You know, there's, I love games where you, like, have playable, like, animal companions. What is, and, uh, there, what is this in, in the in the floor? It's a ball? No, not you. What? Is this a cat cafe? I was trying to pick up the ball and throw it, but I don't think I can. No, you can just kick it. Like a soccer ball. Oh, come on! Wait, wait, it'll check the sign. What does the sign say? Giovanni's house. Is Giovanni the doctor? I, I guess. I thought it was. I think you're confusing what the guard said for the doctor. Maybe the doctor's up here? Oh, 
I'm looking for a doctor. So you don't seem injured. It's not, it's not, it's not for me. Oh, this is an alley. Yeah, that worked wrong. Is there a sun song in this game? I don't remember. Um, there's no way to play music in this game except through wolf whistles and reeds. Uh, good song. <laughs> They're just walking down to get ambushed, and they just pull out machine guns from their their instrument cases. This town is all alleys. Would you make a donation? <laughs> I am once again asking you for your financial support. Sorry, I'm building a bridge. This is the fortune teller place. I know the stars is here. Chris. Uh. What the? That's in this tent. This tent is bigger on the inside. Am I gonna fight the lady from God Hand? <laughs> Wait, how do you know about God Hand? You watch Vinny play it? No, I watched Joel play it. Oh. It's Tingle. Greetings and salutations, good sir. Welcome to the kingdom of hopes and fondest dreams. Yeah. In this place, you can taste the life of a circus star and get your hands on gear that boggles minds. It is our earnest hope that you find delight playing the star game. The rules are simple. So all you must endeavor to do is track down all the glowing orbs and collect them all before time runs out. Okay. Outstanding name, I must say. Man, oh, we can actually afford it, holy shit. Everyone wants our money today. We have one chance. So I know this character exists as the Tingle of this game because they they wanted a Tingle that like looked more in line with this game's style. You just call you can just still call him Tingle, like why not? No, people don't like Tingle. This is the game for Americans. His art is over. It's yeah. hopeless. Man, line up, Link! This game expects you to do platforming, and it, it does. Zelda's not really known for its platforming. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Terry, a moment. <laughs> Go scrape some rupees from betwixt the cushions of your settee and return post haste! What was this guy like in Japanese? Was he speaking like a samurai or something? Maybe. In the... In Ranma, the dude who was always quoting Shakespeare, the... Pretty, uh, the blue thunder! That guy yeah. was uh, always quoting Confucius in Japanese. Okay, that makes sense. Confucius says... Just open every door. Man, this game's got more working doors than Scarlet Violet. <laughs> Hello. What the? F oh, we're we're like so deep in this game. We're only just now meeting these people. He's like, we've never really looked around town before, I guess. That's how little we care about this game, apparently. You have an audience with the Princess of the Bug Kingdom. There's a lot of crazy ones in, in, uh, Twilight Hyrule. Hmm. So there's golden bugs, there's golden sculptulas. Except they're not sculptulas, I think we have to actually capture them. In a net or something? Do we have a net? Yeah, we have a bug net. Oh. oh no, we have a fishing rod. What an arbitrary character to just be playable in Hyrule Warriors. 
She's popular. By the time this game released, she was like, uh, I think she beat out, uh, Alia for the, uh, for, like, the, the, the top waifu of the game. Probably because Ilya is just, like, in a daze for most of it. Yeah. I- I do? Oh you no, she just that? says that. <laughs> She's Yandere. <laughs> that certainly is one interpretation. What business do you have with Agatha? Oh, you must be her simp! Nice to meet you! You don't look like- well, you just hanging out looking in the window? You listening? I'm only gonna say this once. If you don't like bugs, you're better off not hassling her. <laughs> Do you like bugs? Alright. Somebody's looking in the window. Good talk. Well, what's this? We're still what's no this? Closer to... We're still no closer to finding the doctor. Oh, fortune telling! Sure, why not? We've been in there. We went in oh, there yeah? once already. My fortune said that if I stand in front of the shop, a man wanting to date me would come talk to me. <laughs> what is your type? Is it the simp in the window? How much is that simp in the window? <laughs> He's blind. It's the helmet. <laughs> What the? <laughs> he just did a bow for no reason. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure Jovali was the doctor. Because I remember I going to this little little nub thinking it was the, the bar nub, and it wasn't. So I, do we just need to wait for day now? Really? How do you, how do you spell his name? Uh, J-O-V-A-L-I. Is Javali the doctor? <sighs> yeah, that didn't work out. I was getting a, a <clears throat> Doctor Who in Star Trek for some weird reason. Go back to Kakariko, I guess. Kill some time. We gotta That's go. The... We gotta go meet with Shadman in the basement. No, I'd rather not. I heard that guy is kind of a big, big uh, dick. I should probably. Uh... Is this too close? No, we're good. Um, Javali is in fact not the doctor. Okay. He's the guy. Who, he's the guy who sold his so to uh, pose for riches. Mm. And they change him into a golden statue. So Shadman is like below. Oh, we just got to drop through the center of the room. I don't. Shadman is, I think, arrested right now in California yeah. for. Uh... <clears throat> Hello, Shad. I got. I got to look this up now. I. I, I want to know what he. <gasps> What a coincidence meeting you in a place like this. How very odd. Say, old boy, do you remember what I told you before about the, before about the legend of the sky beings known as the Uka? I, I thought they were, like, Hylians you were talking about. You're talking about Uka? Something about it that's been bothering me, so I came here to snoop about. I think that you would appear here with such perfect timing. You really are a rather extraordinary fellow, aren't you? I found it. Observe this statue. It's the same as the one in the manuscripts my dear father left me. There are many similar statues around Hyrule, but this one is mine. Seems in to be different. Game, this, in another game, this guy would be the villain. Yeah? He does, he kind of looks like, uh... Nah, he, he looks nicer than Muska in Castle in the Sky. A little bit. He does kind of look like the villain of a Ghibli movie. Yeah, he does. This was in my um, father's notes. It's called Skywriting, I believe. Awaken us with the word that breaks the seal. Yes, indeed, that is what it says. See the doctor? No, the doctor was a, was a crotchety old man. Oh. Look up, like, Twilight Princess Doctor. I will. 
simply tragic how she lost her memory. That rod of the heavens she mentioned, I'm sure it has... Assault by... Assault with a deadly weapon, by the way. Oh, okay. That's what he was arrested for. Sure it has something to do with the word that breaks the seal. Isn't there any way to restore her memory? I'm certain it would help us figure this all out. Oh, wait, I gotta do that first. It's night time! <laughs> it's too dark and spooky out! Uh, Dr. Borville. Okay. Alright. Oh, there's a, there's a ladder. We gotta climb out. <sighs> you think the randomizer increases the climbing speed? Uh, no. It, 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 maybe. Be nice to have some quality of life features. Alright, so, uh... Um... How to change night, day, twilight princess. <laughs> there is no way. When oh. Midla warps Link out of any dungeon, it will always be midday. That's stupid. The dungeon is itself on a different time scale. Are there any dungeons that are fast to get to? I don't remember any. Well, there was the one... Hold on. You have to... He's in the medical clinic, apparently. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Yeah, okay, where's the medical... Okay. <laughs> this isn't a dungeon. Castletown East Road. He always looks mad at her when she lands on his back. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, that's right. If you give him to uh, to that one guy, he's going. Well, curse his curse will be uh, lifted. Man, dog games were in in the mid two thousands. Hmm. Dead to rights, I think, was also around that time. Ok Okami. Yeah. I mentioned Dead to Rights because that was a uh, Max Payne ripoff, and uh, it had like Max Payne style mechanics, but not done as well. Yeah. And occasionally you could you could build up your dog meter because your you had a dog called Shadow. When it built up to the maximum, you could instantly kill an enemy. He would bring you his the weapon that he grabbed, and then uh, and then yeah, you could wait to refill. And then there were some uh, like area things where you could actually play with the dog. Like, sniff out, like, bombs and stuff, and then disarm them as the dog. Uh, now can I warp out of a magical dimension? No. Darn. Maybe just leave, and then see what happens. Helma. What time is it? So All this right. is the actual physical location of the original Temple of Time. Oh, what? Well, it says yeah. if Midna warps you out of a, t a, a dungeon, right? Oh, we'd have to complete the dungeon or something. Oh, yeah. you did. does that mean like from the boss chamber? Yeah, you gotta walk to the boss chamber. Actually, this would be the perfect place to do it in. Man. I guess. All this because there's no fucking sun song in this game. I thought you were gonna try to be positive about this game. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Great! <laughs> I haven't really been saying much about the game in general, but 
But you're just like, I'm fucking no fucking sun song. We're not supposed to say no no words on YouTube anymore. Every they 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 get demonetized for that now. We've never been monetized. Yeah, Fuck it. I know. <laughs> You know what I have to say about about that kind of shit with the YouTube pulling? Yeah. Well, what if I what if I do it anyway? You're gonna demonetize me. Whatever. I'll just still post videos up there. Of course, YouTube also. I figure a lot of creators like make their money on Patreon rather than YouTube directly anyway, but. As many as you might think. And also. I saw uh, ProZD and uh, RT Game both posted substantial videos about how much it had fucked them, the recent policy changes. Yeah, uh, Brad tasted music, the, uh, like, the, the music, uh, person I like. He's, like, scared because he, it's, a, it's affecting his, the growth of his channel, which is another reason. That, like, you know, the, every oh! People... Can I do this? I don't have a working rod anymore. I just placed the thing down there again. But I need to be able to move it once it's placed. Oh! What? We're gonna do this like Joel in Majora's Mask. We're gonna learn to love waiting. I hate waiting. That's a bad place to put a thing, by the way. Yeah. I didn't expect you to return. No, no, you're, you're going with the other. Yeah. I give you my word as a Gerudo. No good. I've known too many Gerudos. I swear in the soul of my father, so, um, whatever Gandor's father is, you'll reach the other day alive. Give me the sun song. Is there a reference to something? Princess Bride. There's a scene where a character is like hanging from the cliffs after the ropes cut, and then the guy at the top is like waiting for him to come up there so we can like, you know, kill him because his boss wants him to. And so he's just there, he's like getting a page, he's like, Going there and makes conversations like, "Hey, uh, you, you're all right up down there." He's like, "Um, I'm kind of busy here at the moment." <laughs> he's like, "Oh, sorry." Comes, he's like going. He's like kind of just like for a few seconds. Comes back. He's like, "Look, can you speed things up, please?" He's like, "Well, you you think you throw something down to help me?" Yeah. Um, I could, but the thing is, is that I'm supposed to kill you. He goes. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I could try, I could, like, not kill you until you reach the top. It's like, ah, you're probably just gonna have to wait, bro. He goes, well, what if I told, what if I give my word as a Spaniard? He goes, <coughs> well, I've known a lot of Spaniards, um, so I'm gonna have to deny that. And then, and then finally, he pulls one last card out of his sleeve and he goes, I swear on the soul of my father, Domingo Montoya. We'll reach the top alive. He goes, All right, throw me the rope. Good scene. I love that scene. Just like, because of how casual it starts. Being like, Yeah, hey. <laughs> been a very long time since I saw that movie. Oh, I have yeah. seen it. Yeah. He goes up there. He's like, Thank you. He starts to draw a sword. The guy's even going, Even going, No, no, we can wait till you're ready. Oh, sure. He starts telling the story. By the way, like, by the way, um, do you have six fingers on your right hand? <laughs> no? Okay, well, how about, do you have two left hands? No? Oh, okay. Are you far away from your mic? Uh, it's on, oh, sorry, I turned my head. That, that explains here, let me. You sound uh, kind of far away, but you're also peeking. That's weird. It is weird. I don't want to move my mic as in. Well, I mean, I guess nothing's going on. Like, there's literally nothing. We're just waiting for day to come. Yep. Link can't sleep. Well, Can I guess since it's not Jovali's house, we can go check the clinic. Maybe that's open at night. I think Jovali's not as at his house because he's trapped in that treasure chamber underneath the bar.
the dead of night. Nobody's here. Not even the band. Can you imagine doing a enumeration of this town? A uh, employment enumeration? Oh, it was, just, was it just this door? It was very nondescript. There's no, like, red cross on it. No, like, uh, picture of, like, a frowny face with a bandage on it. I've been looking for you. If you don't have any money, then you're just a bother. A bother! And I'm too busy for bothers. Okay. I have the opposite of money. I have an invoice. I can't pay this off right now. I can see Telma's hired you as some sort of heavy to strong arm me, but she'll have to wait. Look, lad, if I'd been able to sell the wooden statue that young lady had, I would have been, would have been able to get the money. I accidentally spilled medicine all over that little carving, which made it stink awfully. Put it outside to dry, but then... Well, it was stolen. Oh, that's not good. Who goes around stealing people's stuff? What a world! Did what he, world, uh, quote-unquote, steal it from himself so that he would have an excuse not to pay the money? <laughs> yes, he did. All right. Sent away. Oh, you can explore the clinic. Now that, uh... Who's around? What are oh. you doing? Hello. I wonder what the Goron out here. Does there have to be a Goron out? Will he mind? He can give you a secret, right? Literally, what are you doing? The guy moved. You can explore the clinic. What? I'm... He had all those context clues about the scent of the thing. Yeah. And so we so, need to go outside and follow the scent of the thing. Okay, how? Where's the scent? Uh, we're going to go back out. I need to transform into a wolf. That's why I was trying to do him. that. He had it with him. He spilled medicine on it. He spilled medicine... Okay, yeah. Uh... He put it outside, which was in red, and then it was stolen. Is it daylight now? Oh my god. What's up? Yeah. Wolf. Can we make a wolf kebab? <laughs> oh, you crying? All right. Right. There's no crying in. Is there like a sniff? No. It's just. It's probably inside the. It's probably inside the clinic. Automatic scent. It's weird that he uh, established that he did it outside. Put it outside. Well, he can't well, he transform into inside, and then he put it outside, and then it was stolen. Which means that so the he claims was on the inside. Well, we can't turn into a wolf inside, and we can't open the door either. How do you know we can't turn into a wolf inside? Have you tried? <sighs> Have you tried more than not at all, Zellrock? Yeah, you can at least let me try my ideas for longer than two seconds before you start railing on them. Your your ideas will last longer than two seconds. They'll last longer than two minutes. They'll last probably longer than twenty minutes. I'm just saying I, that's what I that's what I would have done was I've been like, okay, he's he's spilled medicine inside. Probably need to transfer because 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 wolves like the the opposable thumbs to get inside doors. And I don't see any, like, window. That's stupid. He's not gonna see you, his back is turned. Okay. Well, where's the stench? Look, okay, there, you're in one room. There's multiple room like areas. Ooh, box. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. You'd think that if he could, like, smell the stench from, like, here, a dog would be able to smell it from here. You need to find the source, bruh. 
Okay, sure. It's up there. Is it going up and outside? You are correct. It's going upstairs. Is there any way for me to jump up there? Uh, oh, probably. Oh, there's the crate. Yes. Quit breaking my pots! I'm not. Go I have no time for you. Uh. Wolf thief. Hey, cool. Hey, we, we actually need, need money back. again. Hey, we can go back to those temples and raid all those chests. I don't like stone pavement. It makes my feet hurt. <laughs> I'm nice. Sad. I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. Kinda I'll shake if you want me to. <laughs> pick up, uh, pick up bone. <laughs> pick up play fetch with you. Oh, you're strong, lady. I can, uh, I can play dead. What worthless guards this town has. That's a chick oh, that's a cat. Can't say. Looking for the wooden statue that Ilya had, aren't you? <laughs> I took it, then I was attacked by some sort of skeletal dog beasts. I don't know why they were after her statue. I thought it likely that she was in a dangerous spot, though. Those fiends lurk just outside the southern gate, but they only come out at night. <laughs> Unironically, terrific game design. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're like, okay, we well, should try to be positive with this game. Sun song black shenanigans. And you're just I can feel the white hot rage. Are you a pirate? No, you're a little girl, I guess. Oh, we can do this for a few hours. <laughs> In game hours. How long? Okay, I'm gonna look up how long. Uh, I bet Midna's actually enjoying this. Time lapse. Time lapse. What? Worthless guards. An entire day consists of ten minutes. Four minutes of night and six of day. It isn't even. So and it's every, gonna take even longer to get to night than it took to get Hyrule, to day. Every place in Hyrule experiences time lapse except for caves, dungeons, shops, Kakariko Village, and Oregon Village. Or if you have the pause screen up. Doesn't say uh, Castle Town is a. Uh, is what weird is specific exceptions? So, do you know where... So, <clears throat> do you remember uh, where the cat said that, that she lost the statue at? Uh, right, South where Gate dog... is where okay, the things so, spawn. So, 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 once day, so, once night comes, you got a six minute, you got a four minute window to get to South Gate and then get to the home dogs. Otherwise, uh, you have to wait another six minutes. Goron's not scared. Goron likes dogs. Goron, oh, that's just a dog. I can fucking fight it. Are there any other animals to talk to? Tell my fortune. You're a dog. I want to talk to Agatha. Can I transform inside her house?
All right. Like I'm a goddamn superhero. Can you imagine a superhero whose power is that you just turn into a wolf? Not even any animal like Beast Boy, but just a wolf. I feel like that probably exists. Also, that's just a werewolf, actually. Well, yeah, werewolves. Except like worse, because they can't even control it. Yeah, just a guy who can like transform into like a wolf. I am a wolf now. Isn't that one of the one of the the animal kids? Animorphs. Yeah. The thing is, it can turn it into any animal. They just have to kind of like touch it and like acquire its DNA first. Oh, okay. I They're thought they each had, wolf. like, their own animal they turned into. Well, they have, they have like, preferred combat morphs, but they can transform into any animal. Darn. Hello, elf. Hey, elf. In retrospect, that'd be a pretty, uh, situational superpower. What can you do? I could turn into a wolf. That's it. Could be useful for like uh Good infiltration. Yeah. Honestly, it's better than a lot of like a lot of My Hero Academia quirks. My Hero Academia quirks for being anime are kind of some some lame shit. Yeah, there are a lot of very one-dimensional powers. All right, so uh, we're just uh, waiting for the s for night for the skeletons now. Night will come, maybe. Night and day. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. So uh, I watched that 3D pony movie, the Netflix one, from uh, oh, yeah. 2019. Uh, how was it? Ah, it was nothing particularly special. It was it was like a cute cute kids movie. But, uh, um, what I wasn't expecting was that it was also a scathing political commentary. <laughs> it really wasn't subtle about it either. It was just, it was a really timely, very intentionally anti-Trump 2019 movie. Oh yeah, who was, uh, who was the Trump pony? Oh, uh, well that's the thing, they didn't really have, a. Uh, like a competent threat of a villain, they were. It was just like the second time they did that. It was like the the what was it? The Storm King in the first movie was kind of just a joke the whole time. Yeah. What was? Well, there was a lot of. Uh, it had a lot of like uh, commentary on like cops and shit. Oh, there were. What the. F it's just weird, right? You don't expect that from a fuck a pony movie. It's like you know, something you'd see from pony fan fiction. Yeah. Oh man, you give me some, give me some, uh, some pony trumper names. I bet their names were. Were they, were they not named? Uh, they. I. I don't think they had like the usual like two word kind of pony names. Oh, that sucks. I. I think the the main dude was like Squirt or something just pathetic. Okay, no, no, you can't do that. That's something that that people do, or is they try to make them like threatening, but also like weak. That kind of contradiction hampers like storytelling. Yeah, it was it was also, exactly that. Yeah, no, you can't you can't do that. You either make them threatening, and, or you make them like not threatening. If you, if you do both, it's just gonna be this weird disconnect. Also, you're doing exactly. Like, like, what, uh, what, like, uh, pro-right, like, uh, fiction does as well. They do the same thing, but with the left. Just, like, completely trivial trivialize them. Well, trivialize them, but also treat them as, like, the, like, the, the biggest threat ever. It, that, that kind of disconnect. It's like I don't remember who it was. It, it was... Uh, it might, it might have been Joe Rogan. No, it, it was yeah. it was like a Fox News an anchor who said something along the lines of, "You, you notice how in all the movies the the bad guy always wants to like get, wants to like fix everything like Thanos," and he was trying to make he was trying to paint the idea that uh, it was always a, a leftist villain. 
which isn't uh, really often the case that, at all. No. I don't think I don't think the leftists w would want to like exterminate the entire half of like all living things. No, I think you're totally like projecting an idea that's not really there. The guy. Obviously, he immediately received mountains of shit for it. Yeah, because people thought that Cause was... Because it's a dumb stupid. fucking statement. It's a dumb idea. <laughs> Look at all that dusk. Look at all Joe that Logan. twilight. Joe Man doesn't like to see a father beating up his son Rogan. Probably doesn't think that Thanos wanted to fix things. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's just, he just believes in like weird conspiracy theories. He doesn't. He's not like sadistic. I got Maybe, that impression from like the the sword shield plot. Like they wanted it to be a uh, like anti left anti uh, like ecology plot, but it didn't really work at all. I I would say the op. I think that them trying to fuck with like. Uh, like, the ecosystem of the power was what caused that to turn into this... No, you don't understand. Uh, He's trying to be too progressive too fast. There's an energy crisis coming up. Let's... It's like saying there's an energy crisis coming up. Let's go back to coal. And, like, I don't know. The, the, the games just get, have a lot of problems. Well, specifically, the, the story was kind of a mess. The thing, is, the thing is, the problem with, like, trying to insert, like, politics into game. Now, I'm not saying politics as in, oh, we're going to have a trans character, oh, we're going to have a, uh, a, like, black character as, like, the main character. I'm just saying that if, you try, if you're try, you trying to, like, just paint an ideology, like, the ideology is, like... I'm just... I, what I'm saying is that... that you can't, you gotta have nuance with it, otherwise you're going to end up making something that's just incoherent. Those aren't bone dogs. They're not, there's just a Poe that appeared. Yeah, because it's dark. Alright, back to Zelda. Where are my bone men at? I'm surprised that Zelda didn't get more political, but then again, Nintendo kind of just... Well, move it, Pokemon! I thought that was Game Freak. I, I'm getting... I, Here we go, boom dogs. You have your, you have your uh, area of attack. Yeah, I was trying to remember the like the command for it. I gotta hold B. Oh, you can smell them now, I think. Oh no, nope, there, there it is. Hey Goron, thank you for helping over there. You are certainly very, very useful. There's room for like light politics in the in the Zelda series. They just kind of never really explore it. The most no. they got was like Ganondorf admitting in Wind Waker that he was jealous of Hyrule's like verdant lands and all that. Yeah, uh, and then he's just like, I just wanted to have my people just. But then again, he, the, the things he did, he flooded the fucking world, so... so it's not like well, technically like, the gods did that. Oh, he, did, he violently conquered Hyrule, is what he did. He forced their hand. Like, look, listen, uh, divine deterrence doesn't work. Because then you just have death and destruction and, and, the, and like, cataclysmic... Was that the guy that in uh, the Metal Gear verse that believed that uh, world peace could be obtained through nuclear deterrence? I was that only one person? It was Huey. Huey uh, Emmerich, who ended up turning out to be like the biggest asshole of the entire series. And then he's and then that, but with like gods. Like, I'll, ca I'll have summon divine retribution on you. Well, yeah, well, I'll summon divine retribution on you. So should I bring the statue to him, or should I bring it to Telma? The 
bring it to Telma, and then because she's closer, and then bring it to Ilya because it, she, she she might uh, have her memory restored because of it. Hey, I got your dirty little secret. Okay, I guess we're taking it to Ilya. Our business here is concluded. The statue is dangerous! I had to give it to the Bone Dogs to protect my family. You don't have a family. It was too late. Was there a dog dog fruit in One Piece? Yes, there uh, was. The gun ate there it. Had... Yeah, the gun, yeah. Well, it, it was a Dachshund model, I think. Um, dude, there's, there's probably like a bunch of different like dog dog uh, fruit zone types, like a, like a uh, German Shepherd model. There were multiple wire. human human fruits. A gi giant Bernard. I want. I, I the, which the. I want. I want to see a, a great game. What's the one that uh, that they used in the Alps and they had like uh, German like, Shepherd? Uh, Isn't it? I said no. It was the big. Shack You're talking in the, the Alps Beethoven one, one right? Was, it, was that a German Shepherd? Hold on. I think that was a Saint Bernard. No, uh, German Shepherds, no, that's not what they look like. Uh, Saint... Saint Bernard. Yeah, Saint Bernard is, uh... Is the Beethoven one. And also the Cujo one. Cujo? Oh, the Stephen King, not not Joe Jotaro. Yeah, yeah. Cujo. No. God, just, it's, it's Stephen King's uh, Cujo, except it's Jotaro just sitting outside of a car. Yada yada does it. Eh? That's not your child. Your child. No, I'm gonna protect my child. This is the work of an enemy stand. What are you gonna do? Once they leave that car, I'm going to kill that kid with my stand. It's the only way to to break this to stand free of them. That's Stan Maneater. Holy cow, you made it. You, you actually did it. Oh, uh, can we talk to it. Epona? Talk to the horse. What does the horse have to say? Horse. Even though you change shape, I still understand you. Lincoln, hurry up and return to your true self. That's boring. You're boring, Park. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, it is St. Bernard is the one they tie the, uh the barrel around in the Alps and be like, hey, here, we'll help you out. Hey, you wanted to see this or something? Does this look familiar? It's a very, uh, phallic shape that gave that statue. I wasn't gonna say it. I, uh, that well, person some... set me free. They gave me... We were all thinking it. That person is still in trouble. What is wrong with me? I can't remember where that place was. I remember. But you don't have amnesia. <laughs> I'm just picturing Lincoln just turning on you. Don't have amnesia. You're fucking so fucking confused. I thought I had seen that before somewhere. That belonged to the tribe that protected the Hylian royal family long ago. Oh, the Sheikah again. That, hence the eye. Yeah. They worked in secret, so they lived in a lonely, forgotten place. Kikariko, I heard the tribe dwindled in the prolonged wars. Yeah. 
If you want to find that hidden village, look for a path leading to the Laneru province on the far side of the Bridge of Elden. Is it that bridge broken? You can't get there anymore. No. Okay. That's fine. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, clear the, the path. You didn't have to slam the door. I would try to find the path beyond the Bridge of Elden that leads to Laneru Province. We're just in fucking Elden Ring now. Hey, Ilya, are you gonna, like, do something now? Join us on our merry quest. You remember me? At all? No? Darn. Y you know, at this rate, I mean, I'm gonna get with uh, Minda or Agatha. Like, she's cute, she's nice, I'd like her to do something. Like, you know, be a character. character. Well, her character was that she was the, the childhood friend archetype, you know. Still haven't uh, continued watching Yu Yu with uh, Illatox. I, I can't wait to get to the point where uh, Keiko goes catatonic. What was that? It was the end of the Dark Tournament. Oh yeah, when, when Yusuke was like... Like, if she thinks she's not, she's being useless now. Wait until she just... <laughs> You're useless, Keiko! Oh. Why are you even here? Well, sometimes you just... And you know what? Not even just, like, help out with fights or anything. Just go on a date with him. Go some, have some kind of, like, romantic conversation. No, she's just there. You know, oh, we're boyfriend and girlfriend. And they just do nothing. Do she's in the stands making loose commentary. That's about it. Imagine a continuity where, uh... Was it Shizuru actually got with uh, Sakyo, and he like he he second guessed his plans? I want a Sakyo Majin Buu story. Ooh. We're not we're not gonna get to the temple, are we? We're 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 still like we gotta go past the Elden Bridge, and then uh, and find the ring. Gotta... There's a lot of loading zones yeah. in this game, you notice that? Okay, I gotta look. What is the Elden Ring? It's it's a ring that, that's Elden. What is... Okay, yeah, what is the Elden Ring? Uh, map. Map. Uh. Oh, this, this is way out of date with information shit. I was already finally asked the question of the Elden Ring Reddit. What is the Elden Ring? A big part of the game itself is trying to figure that out. <laughs> QB, uh, okay, so. We're trying to figure out, we're going on a game, we're trying to figure out what the Elden Ring is. What, what's the meme that pops into your head when, uh, when it's just like, what is the Elden Ring? What's the first meme that pops into your head? Uh, I feel like I, sh I one should come to mind, but I, I'm drawing a blank on it. What are you thinking? Okay. Maybe the real Elden Ring was the friends we made along the way. Yeah. Yeah, is that the one you were trying to think of? No. Oh, dang it. Ah. There's an apt one. Yeah, that's apt. Oh, if you, if you tell for the better one, let me know. Who is Elden Ring? <laughs> what is the Elden Ring and who controls it? Surely there's other things we've watched or played that have, like, big reveals as to what X actually is. There is, a uh, there is that one, uh, I guess that's where we're going, the Red Circle. It was kind of like, what is the Philosopher's Stone in Fullmetal Alchemist? But it wasn't really that complicated. Well, I mean, they were... It was complicated getting there, but when they got there, it made it was just made too much sense. They're like, oh, okay, I guess that makes sense. It was a big reveal of what made the Philosopher's Stone. Yeah. There was a case where there was sort of a reveal as to what the sacred jewel was in Inuyasha. Yeah. What? Uh oh, really? Alright, see ya.
We have to go through. No, because the bridge that... to the Lanayru. Pro oh, maybe it's this bridge. What? No, that's where the circle is, though. Yeah, that's where the Elden Ring is. Do we go through the bot down and through that path, cutting over? I the... guess. Maybe that's what they're talking about. Later, friend. Woof. We are not afraid of you, beast. Zoras, they chill. Zoras, chill is to chill. God. Zoras used to be ugly in the older games. Like the original ones? Zelda 1? Well, Zelda, well, Link to the Past as well. Let me, let me show you. Did Link to the Past have the River Zoras still? Yeah. Uh, yeah, jeez. So, uh... Th this is, uh, this is, uh, fan- this is art of uh, what they were supposed to look like. I see. Yeah, a bit, uh... Yeah, it seems like the, uh, Zora population interbred with orcs at some point. And that's, uh... Truly the darkest timeline. That, that truly, Link to the Past, is the darkest Zelda game. The beautiful Zoras have been corrupted and turned into monsters. But... I, I don't know, this... This one. I went the wrong way. Whoops! Oh. Well, it's fine. You can get out. It's not that big a loss. Can I get out where I want to get out? Um... Fine, you can always warp back up there, so either way. Actually, I think this elf, this uh, Zora, is closer to what the, uh, the Zora of uh, Link to the Past looks like. That mo that one up there might be uh, Zelda 1 Zora. Get the image load, what the fuck? Uh oh. They disabled Hot Lincoln. Try this. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, well. I still think you're pretty hot, Lincoln. Thank you. Actually, uh, all the, the Zelda, like, Twilight Princess playthroughs, I think, yeah, because, like, the... That would could have been tragic. <laughs> that was tragic. I mean, she's the most fleshed out, certainly. Just because oh, we yeah. spend the most time with her. Let me tell you about, about why personality matters in, like, games. She was just, like, generic. Oh, 
Are we there yet? No! Shut up! This is the fifth time you've asked me and I'm tired. I'll, I'll turn this wolf around! Kids. Look. Be look, before we get there, we'll stop for ice cream. How's that sound? <laughs> I, I knew you'd like it. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, good. I was gonna be upset if it if he couldn't get over that pile of rubble. <laughs> but, like uh, concrete hurts paws, man. This long ass roundabout path. And it'd be funny if the path was blocked up, up ahead. Leave me alone. Gosh. It just you're fa after a wolf. You're fast for a biped. They're trying to do the ancient human tactic of running animals to death. Too bad for them this game does not have a stamina system. Ow! What is this? What is this Dark Souls? Tektite's got way better at jumping since Ocarina. Yeah, it, it, it's the evolution. Are we here? Why are these guys immune to being attacked on the ground? I just, uh... I had, I had a, a, a question that, uh, that... Oh, you're almost dead, holy shit. Yeah. Maybe we'll try the, uh... We'll try this top path. Oh, you have a fairy. Never mind, you're fine. That's why it didn't... Uh... Oh, do I Wait. have to manually wear it? No, I can combine it. Okay. I yeah, wish it was just automatic. Do I have a fairy? Yeah, you have a fairy. Uh, bombable? This doesn't seem oh, like the right place. Which begs the question of why... It seems like that hole is bombable. Oh, uh, but... We don't have stationary bombs. Yeah, you, uh, you... Traded them for the fucking uh... Bomblings. So... I can't... There's no way for me to detonate them remotely. Also, well, I, that's... we haven't seen a hole like that. That was like an ocarina thing, I think. Yeah, what the fuck is the part point of this alcove? Is this, uh, like a, uh, uninteresting and or... This seems like a good way to go. I got distracted because of your, uh, your life being low, but, uh, what would, uh... Hey, buddy. Hey, he's doing it! Ah, oh, shit, I got, I got interrupted again. By this is gonna cause a cave-in! There's a hidden village up ahead. The elders call it a forgotten place. This scent that has been burning my nostrils. It is the scent of evil! Evil. 
There's one powerful creature I've seen about under that beast are many minions who attack and plunder like a pack of hyenas. He says scent of evil. I just can't help but think of the pro wrestler <laughs> just with the cape and the fucking robe. Evil. Sure glad I walked in just in time to see you guys doing the dumbest shit imaginable. <laughs> well, that has to be something down there. What is down there, sir? And or ma'am? And or they, them? Sure is something. Okay, thanks. What were you about to- what were you gonna say, Jack? What, what would- okay, uh, what would a, a child between Link and Midna look like, you think? Uh... Short and dark. Short and- Wh Which short. Midna? Uh... Does it matter? Maybe- maybe they have two forms. So yeah. let's just say both. And they can choose between the forms. Oh boy, it's Link's crossbow training. <laughs> Wait, really? Wait, this is a fucking Wild West town. Y'all just, uh, waiting for me? Strangers aren't welcome around these parts. Boy, it'd be great if I had, you know, more than one heart. Oh, you gotta do sniping controls with a stick. That sucks. Does it increase your power when you stop them? I don't know. So, um, you know, I, I used to play Call of Duty, and my first one was actually World at War, the uh, Pacific Theater slash uh, Russian Invasion, like one. And I found out something interesting about one of the guns. Was that it was actually more powerful if you didn't have a scope on it. Okay. Why? So I don't so it was this bolt action rifle. I don't I don't remember what it was called. I think it was the voice in the gun. And uh, I found that if you use the moist in the gun and you shoot uh like somebody in like a, with a in like the body or the head area, that would be pretty much an instant kill. But if you have a scope and you shoot the and you zoom in, you shoot them in a body. It wasn't. Um, and so I was just like everybody else uses a scope. I'm just like, nope, I'm not using a scope. I'm just gonna shoot them with. It. I got really good at like just doing that. Yeah. Just like just hiding out in a place, finding like pixels moving. And just firing at them, and people would get pissed off and yell like, "What you you no scope use?" And like slur. Imagine all the slurs. And I'm just like, <laughs> get good. It was fun. Um, and then, uh, then uh, Modern Warfare 2 came out, and the. Uh, Scopes were as powerful as like non scope like sniper rifles. And I was just like, okay, cool, let's do it. Motherfuckers on this side of town don't want to come out. Can't imagine why. Surprise! He's almost dead. We can, we got this, guys. There's six of us and only one. Oh wait, you can be more. Equally, you can take a few more hits. There's another one here somewhere. Good. You're 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 really good with that bow. You're much better with a bow than you are with a gun. Oh, there you are. Wait, hold on. What? That, with the scope, is that bow hit scanning? I seems to be. Yeah, it's hit scanning. <laughs> 
Link, please. Am I out of arrows? I have one yeah, arrow. Yeah, one. Yeah. You're out of arrows. Use your boss. Oh no, they can't climb walls. Fuck. Hmm. Ball and chain. Like, what? <laughs> Is he dead? Okay, good. Who's next? Where is he coming from? Oh. I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah. Uh. Wait, I have one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. Maybe you attack him from the outside. Oh, you didn't combine it. Didn't need to. Owls of the beasts, they fall into faded into silence. Oh, I'm the only one who lives here. I it's you, the savior. Forgive me for not opening up the door. There was a shootout going on outside. I'm Impas. I'm like Impa, but cooler. Not Impa, Impas. Ilpal I'm Il Palazzo. I'm the last resident of this poor village. My name comes from the great one who built this village so long ago. Once the secret home of a proud tribe who served the royal family, but it fell into, in, into decline and became infested with dangerous beasts. It's become an awful place. That is I. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Lincoln. Don't wear it out. When she was here, she would often cheer me up by saying that you would come to help. That sweet girl, she worried about this old woman, even as I helped her to escape from here. By royal order, I can't leave this place until a certain person arrives. No matter what terrible fate is visited upon it. Well, that's sad. Person? You just gotta live in this, like, deserted ghost town by herself. Yes. We got Ilya's charm. What? Is this the fucking whistle? Is this the thing that will allow us to play music wherever? She looks like an old lady mallow. <laughs> also, she also looks like a Takahashi old person. You notice that? Yeah, she does. She's so small. She's shrunk. Oh, they're explosive! That's fine. Oh, did you use up your fairy? I, apparently I did. Check it. Maybe maybe the fairy was... <laughs> Are you no. a fucking idiot? <laughs> that was all my gunpowder! <laughs> How am I going to defend the town? You <laughs> didn't do a very good job of it, lady. Like, they fucking overran it. Oh, back to Kikariko, I guess. They can work there. Also, like, in Ocarina lore, Kikariko was the original town of the Sheikah, so... I guess there's you... two now? Sure. It, this is... I, so I could have, like, fired on those barrels to, uh... to blow them up and take some out. You could have. You didn't. You blew yourself up and you're... So... Minda, no one's here. We're across the town. 
That's a very perceptive old lady. She has the Byaku gun. Gone. Gone. Nanagon gone infinity. Wait, did I just lose health? No, I'm uh, gaining health. Yeah, nice, healthy still... water. Oh, it's like the hot spring. Yeah, it's, this water is pure and holy and stuff, and so, as a result, you, uh, being in this water, rejuvenates your health and fills you with a sense of determination, I guess. The healing power of wet dog. <laughs> Can you imagine? Somebody getting hurt, and they just pour... Like holy spring water on them that heals their wounds in real life. Hey, we could have avoided all this if you didn't give your charm to an old ninja lady. <laughs> Is this gonna restart her memory? I, I knew, knew you once. It'd be great if she did recognize him as a as our Lincoln, because of the wolf, like, transformation. It'd be interesting if she, like, first saw him again as a wolf and recognized him. That'd be sweet. Yeah, but no. This is... Yeah, we'll, we'll just take your word for it, because we kind of only saw, like, a minute of them together at the start of the game. Yeah, we, you know, no character development, no nothing. How would they explain that? They're, 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 it's the bond of friendship, Illatox. <laughs> Look how close they apparently are. We didn't see any of it, but... We can't kill you, but we can defeat you with the power of friendship. Illatox was also not a fan of Kuwabara following his magic pinky string to Yukina. Oh uh, yeah, the red string of fate? It's fate! They're fated together! Yeah, clearly. It's the power of manly love! <laughs> that fucking face. Ah, what? <laughs> this gift was meant for you. Do we- is it- this lets us call Epona anywhere? I'm gonna guess that's, uh, what that's about. Which we can, I think, already do with Wolf? I don't know. Park's favorite song. Ah! Become so... No, no it's gotta be, uh... Crawling. Crawling. Hold on, let me try that again. My horse really gets this song. All right, the Rod of the Heavens. It was about the messenger to the heavens who held the rod. Nice woman who saved me told me about it. Apparently in this woman's village, they've guarded something for the heavenly messenger for generations, so they await him. But they can't give this item away until the messenger arrives with the rod. That's why the lady couldn't leave her village, you see. Do you have any idea who this messenger to the heavens might be? Okay, uh. is it me or is it Uku? Uh, one of the two. Wait, who's Uku? The little fucked up guy fucked a chicken cre creature. Oh, yeah. Uh, could be Uku. Um, unknown at this point in time. So we either have to bring the old lady... We have to go back there again and bring the old lady <laughs> to Rod. Or do something with Shad here. There's no warp point, unfortunately. Ilya's memory is the last clue. We, we did... I, I got her memory back. Maybe if you were fucking up there instead of underground, you'd have caught all that. He's just under Christ. You don't know. You're useless. 
Also, there is very clearly something behind this statue. Oh, because we need the rod working again so that we can move the statue. Is that how it goes? Yeah, we need to go up to the heavens to restore the rod. Uh, or something. Hello, Darian. Hey, Darian. They really just needed to, like... They couldn't just let us keep the rod and have us come here after the temple. No, they had to, like, shoehorn a way to wrap up the Ilya plot. So that she can do the important task of continuing to stand here in this hut doing fucking nothing for the rest of the game. Very important. You can, uh... You can fucking uh, go, uh, like, have this rod and use its power, but not now. That's kind of... We're trying, trying not to be negative about this game. I swear we are. Uh, and there wasn't even a path that we could take from this side, was there? We had to go from the other side. Because this bridge is still missing. Yeah, so we have to... <laughs> Go to Zoro's domain and circle around. Do you think if we'd gone to this field, we would have gotten a warp point? Maybe? Maybe, but uh, you want to go back there and do it. Try it, be my guess. Oh, it's such a long way. Yeah. I can't, why can't I warp now? Oh, people might see. Alright, warp here. think that Zora shopkeeper is doing right now? Uh... Are you still frozen in there? Oh, man. Somebody is going to eventually find a way to thaw him. He's going to wake up to a Hyrule that's just completely different. It's just everything is different. And But fortunately, his, uh, his uh, brethren look the same. Uh... Oh, man. But you wait, all look so but... much higher definition. What changed? It'd be even better if he woke up in the Breath of the Wild timeline. He just got unfrozen with the blue fire in Breath of the Wild. He's just like, what happened? There are bird They're... people now? Wait, what, what do you mean the... they evolved from us? What? Why are we still here? Why are you red? What? What's, what are these mechanical things? <laughs> they look at this like, oh, Blue Zora, the prophecy! This is what a bit that dates back like five years now. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't have dated back five years of you. I'm froze the fuck, dude, like I said you would. Y'all no. didn't do the Sky Temple yet, did you? We, oh, we wish. We're still, we're trying to, like, get the, the uh, memories. So, uh, Epona can't even, like, jump over the bridge like she could in Ocarina. No, well, it's too big, what the fuck, and she's gonna just do a gigantic fucking, like, like, running leap. No way. Okay, I got it. We need to find a bridge somewhere in the world and bring it back with us. <laughs> we build, we get Mallow to build his bridge, and then we steal it. Your wolf dashing disgust. What do you want me to do? You want me to summon a Pona? I'm lazy. It's a goblin block passage reminds me of the Zelda 2 one. Click A faster? You want me to just like keep doing it? Oh hey, there Bastard. is a there is a warp point here. Yeah. Well, at least it's better than there not being one. Yeah. Hey, it was even easy that time. I only need to press it once, and then I'm like in dash mode for a little bit. Indeed. 
But then, then you gotta hit it occasionally to keep on getting faster. Man, I wish, uh, I wish, uh, Midda was, like, slapping my backside to really sell the, sell the illusion. Be like Link and Epona all over again. But now I'm yeah. a horse. You slow down completely before you dash again. Oh, yeah. I mean, for like a, a, a frame. Man. This is really all that's left of the leaf village, isn't it? The village in the leaves. Oh, there's cats! Cats, hey. talk to me. Do something, something fun, fun with us. The cuckoo leader. <laughs> uh, okay, we gotta talk to the cuckoo leader. I'll do something Where? fun with you. So I'm guessing we don't need to show our rod to the old lady. Is she even still here? She left. And when I mean left, I mean she died. She died immediately after you left. Just, oh. Well, that would, uh, that, that would make the game uncompletable. You wouldn't be throwing Midna around if you were dashing better. Uh... Talks, do you remember what we're supposed to do? There's just cats everywhere. She's become an old cat lady. Where the fuck did she go? Ghosts the entire time when they. Did that cat just fly? Hello, Globby. Yeah, I don't think she's here anymore. She should still be here. She's just. She's just hiding. Right. Yeah? Okay, well, if she's not here, then where could she be? I don't know. Hi. Do you know anything? <laughs> so, She's in her talk? house. Uh, yeah, did you check all the buildings? Is this her house? Maybe she's hiding because you're a fucking wolf. She is a ninja. Okay, now. There's also, like, a song that plays in here as a wolf, and I wonder what that means. Maybe... Well, you have the, the charm now, you can play music with it. No, it's just... That's just for calling Epona. I, I figured I would, like, howl. Uh, well... You can... Now you use it? She came out of the door at the back of the village. I went to the back of the village. Kitty. Oh, it's an actual door. Literally a door. Imagine living in a place with a door. Like a civilized person. Is that girl doing alright? Uh, let me show you my rod. Oh! It's the Dominion Rod. This lady, but she's voiced by a Godai's grandmother. Just full of sass and she's got the tooth sparkle. 
Among the legends of my clan, there is a story from the time when the Uka still maintained contact with the royal family. Said that a mysterious rod was handed down from the people of the sky called the Dominion Rod. I wonder if this item is in Skyward Sword. My ancestors have guarded the book that, by royal decree, was to be given to the messenger to the heavens. We got the sky book. This is a hint to finding a path to the sky. An entire book, and it's probably just gonna be like one or two, like, words or some shit. Meeting that girl must have been ordained by the gods! Okay. Okay, sure. All right, cool book. What did the book do? Nothing. Did it literally do nothing. Uh, no, I was not able to use it. I'll have to bring it to Shad. Well, at least she's inside now, so I should be able to warp. Remember how few warp points there were in Ocarina? Granted, it was a much yeah. smaller game world as well. Yeah. It was just the temples, right? Because of the way... Not quite, not exactly just the temples, but... Yeah, they were well, mostly around the temples. Yeah. It was Prelude of Light, which is Temple of Time. It was just, yeah, it was just literally just all the temples. Eh, okay, you're right. Because of how that works. The and, main uh, ones that were missing were uh, the Gerudo area and uh, the Zora Fountain. Yeah. Gerudo area couldn't really be easily accessed because uh, Spirit Temple was on the other side of that big ass desert. And uh, what was the other one you said? The Zoras? Yeah. Well, then again. You just had dedicated warp points. Yeah. Well, this was before like people realized uh, how uh, how useful fast travel was. Hey, can you read this? What's this? Hey, it's sky you... writing. Where in blazes did you get this? Holy shit! Did you actually make yourself useful? Awesome. Good job. You mo gwe gwai fai di tsao. You mo gwe gwai fai di tsao. Goodbye, howl statue that you guys totally heard and barely questioned. Huh? Oh! That was Majora's Mask, and that was uh, pretty useful. I have made the rounds of these statues so that they're so many times that I have memorized their locations. I gotta find, we gotta hunt down multiple statues. We gotta go on a fetch quest. Everyone is near an owl statue. This is like the Triforce hunt in Wind Waker. Yeah. This seems like the part of the game that didn't really need to be a thing and that no one really likes. That's my guess. I don't know if anyone likes it. Oh. Oh no, he oh. did. He did it correctly. Never mind. Yeah, he was useful. Cool. Good job. Now you can do to the other statues what you did before. Okay, but do we? We got the thing though. Do we have to do that? Also, this book is still in my in inventory, cluttering my ring of shit. <laughs> you never get rid of it. I'm sorry. It's forever with you. I need to find a way to remove its eye before I can actually move the statue. I guess. Ring of shit is true. I've heard that comp I, I made the comparison last stream to Unreal Tournament, because that's... Fan people who aren't necessarily fans of the series often criticize the, like, weapon select ring. The weapon select. I don't remember how big it got. Ratchet had a ring, too, but that was strictly eight directions. 
This yeah. this one is very imprecise. All right, so uh, map. What's the damage? Uh, there's two of them here. <laughs> two there. Two there. None there. One there. Oh my god, there's so many. One of them. there. <laughs> we're, we're never gonna go back to Ordon, are we? Why? Why would? Why would we bother? Like Ordon. So we're gonna get to the temple, and then that's it, Mister. Huh? It's a pretty Ordon airy village. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, are, aren't we persona non grata because we're like the old spawn right now? <laughs> Like, that was a really rough joke. Sorry, Lincoln. Alright, so... So this is just gonna be the rest of the room. Chase down owl statues to use the different new rock I guess so. Like, I did I didn't anticipate it being such a quest to unlock the uh, sky dungeon. And yet here we are. Alas. I don't think our quest is fair and so well. Huh? <laughs> I got it. It just was. Uh, it was. No, no, no. I'm just. The place is a is a dead wall. There's a treasure yeah. chest up there. Can I hook shot to treasure chests? I don't think I can in this one. No, I can't. Midna? Okay, we'll just... Well, no, we can't, here. never mind. We can't run through it. Mario 64, this is not. We're gonna huff the fumes. Get high from the fumes. I guess I'll try going from the other direction. Is this a way to go, or...? Get out of here, bats. Dominion Rod. No, this is a torch. Uh, is, it's supposed to be up here, right? I don't know. Cool, we lit, we lit the area now. We can shed, shed some light on this situation. We're reduced to making, like, terrible jokes and puns. Cool fucking path. Okay, so I went... You you, you weren't watching when I went this way to where the dot was, were you? No, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm i zoning out again. It was just... It was a sheer wall, is what it was. Okay, so there was a chest on top, which made it look like it was the exit of a route. No, oh, wait. Nidna, do her thing. No, this is where we went before. Okay, so let's, let's let me look at it again. I saw the dead wall. Uh, is there a claw, a way to claw shot up there? Uh, well, there's a treasure chest, and I tried, but no, we can't. Uh, we can't claw the treasure chests. Okay, so it seems like there's another there's another way. Wait, hold on, stop. So it seems like uh. Yeah. Maybe the way through was on the other side of the tunnel, instead of in the tunnel? Yeah, it seems like there's a path. Why can I not just, like, jump back the way I came? Midna, please. You gotta inhale the fumes and it will teleport you. Okay, so you're gonna go in and you're gonna take the north uh, exit, and then you're gonna, you're gonna break left. I found out recently uh, that... Wait, what? 
This makes no fucking sense. I assumed that path in the that branch path was the way to go, but no, okay. that would make too now, much sense. Now, now it all makes sense. Why I uh, went the way I did? Yeah, yeah, okay. things are beginning to make sense. I think it's later. on the other side of the tunnel, and then there's a branch in the overworld area. Yeah, you're, you're probably right about that. If we could see that, that would okay. not make sense. That Wait. was the way it looked like it was going, though. All right, so we're going up here. And then to this path, going. surely. Yeah, and then we're gonna turn. Rock. Bombs. That would make too much sense. It's gotta be bombs. We have to use bombs. Bombs or, or bow and arrow? I can't combine them, can I? No, we don't have bow and uh, arrow. Sorry, not anyway. bow and arrow. Chain, uh, chain shot. That's true. I could try the. Uh... Okay, bombs did work. That was easy. I don't trust this game to make sense. No, it, it, it's things that would have worked in another game just don't look here. It's just. Let's use bombs on flat areas of land. I, I, uh, what, but we did. That, well, that was the correct answer, Illatox. I found out that uh, Saucy has not played. Pretty much any of the mainline Mario games. Which yeah. is surprising to me in this day and age. It's prime, like, she, she could be the streamer who's like, I've never played Mario, let's, let's stream Mario. But uh, I don't think she has any interest in actually playing them. Well, yeah. Makes sense. Uh, Progress! Yeah, a... Okay, well, what are we supposed to do with this thing? Hole! Is that really it? We just... Why would you bomb nothing? Well, I didn't bomb nothing. I bombed something. I bombed a rock. They had weapons of mass destruction. I'm sorry. Okay, are we, are we, are we making progress? What's up here? A treasure chest. What's in this treasure chest? Maybe something useful. Well, this would have been way easier if we could just wear the hook shot. He's hard. Well, that can't be it. Just, there's gotta be more to uh, to it than that. Why was that your default answer? Oh, for the the ring of grass, because that's how you opened grottos around rings of grass in Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask. Yeah. Is there... Oh, is this another... Oh, it's just... Cool fucking it, path! Yeah, an interesting and odd place. Let's send it to a any Austin. He'll, he'll make a video on it. Is, is, there, is there really... There must be something here. Because there's a red dot. Yeah, just turn around. Check, it, check the other side. Oh, it's behind this. No? Okay. Maybe I need to is move that... the statue and then look behind it. Yeah, probably right. Ooh, something. Something glowing. This is not those games. No, clearly! Back in my day, the game was the game! And we found, oh, so we moved the owl statues in, and then we get access to the script of the of the sky language. And then, uh, and then we will read it, and we will say the thing, and then the dead will come to life and then terrorize Hyrule. And it's not going to remove the dot from our map, not our map now that we've done the thing, so God help us, we'd better fucking remember which ones we've done. Or we just do them all now. Yeah. All right. So that 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 done. was the one here. So we do the one in the desert prop. Oh god. Oh, you know what? That's not. It's not gonna be too bad. We just go south, and then, and then there we go. Alright, how do we get out of here? Uh, south, south. Are you go down the stairs? Anyway, 
This is the temple, is or dungeon, isn't it? No? Okay. Wait, what? Is that the other... Oh, okay, because the war... Oh. I don't think there's a okay. way that we can travel from here. All right, we're going to have to go... We're going to have to go the other side of the uh, fucking... Which seems uh, to be a thing that is fairly regular with the warp points in this game. Not that I'm criticizing it or anything. Like the desert is really right next to the lake. I guess it kind of was in Ocarina as well. Yeah. The, the lake uh, was stealing moisture from the desert. And, uh... Bye. Coveted that wind, I suppose. Wait, how did we... Oh, it was the cannon that... We gotta ride the cannon again just to get to this stupid place because there's no warp point in the desert? And none. Maybe there is, but we just didn't get it. That is possible. I like... I, my idea is funnier, though. That we just I, Illitox it. is confirming we missed the desert portal. Great. <laughs> Can you describe the general area of the desert it's in? Is it like in the east part? There's sand. Uh. It all looks the fucking same because it's a desert. I could, I could, implying that I won't. <laughs> How was it? A flight of fantastication to a hidden oasis. <laughs> Want to give it a shot? Do we? Do we do have ten? We do have ten rupees. Yeah, we have more than that. Going for the oasis. This game is so... It's like... You ever have, like, dream that everything seemed pretty cool? You think about that dream, you go to sleep again, but that dream is, like, off, and and it makes you feel sad. This is what this game feels like to me. Yeah. Like, Ocarina of Time was the original dream, and then so you dream again, but everything's, like, all off. You'll see why I shouldn't have to. Is it because I didn't look up? Travel through the desert. Wait, what? Well, that's a... There's a... Hey, buddy. A boar. Are you too dumb even to talk to another animal? I guess no, so. No, it's silent. It doesn't, it doesn't speak your language. Okay. Fucking... Why? You'll Are see you why I shouldn't have to. to. I feel like she's gonna say that, and then we're gonna miss it a second time, and she's gonna be like, how the fuck did you miss it? And I'll be like, I don't know, you didn't tell us! Maybe it's at the place we're going. But I lied, there is no, uh... That's the owl statue. Aww. Young Lincoln, I bestow upon you the miraculous of the wolf. What would that do? As if any of them really have any connection to what the, what their animal is. As I'm asking, what would it do? Uh... Well, that didn't work. There you go. Now you can get up there. Get that. Portals don't form until you kill the beast. Is that how it works? I don't remember.
We found a thing. Still other missing characters. Still missing this portal. How, how the fuck are we gonna... This is gonna be annoying and not worth... That's gonna be a heart piece. I'm good. It could be, or it could be. It's probably a heart piece. Right well, now. we'd have to, like... The problem is we'd have to maneuver the thing without falling off each of these platforms is the puzzle they want us to do. Wait, can you jump on top of it? Well, it's... Well, no, because I need to walk in order to move it. Can you, can you jump on top of it and aim down? Aim down? Yeah, like, like, uh, you just disable it, right? And then you uh, jump on top of it, and you aim the rod down, and then you just move while you're on top of it. It's also just general, you know, platforming in this game. Okay, yeah, well, you did it. It's an extra. You got five. You got four. It's an extra piece of art when you get this done. Is that close enough to the edge of the. Oh, okay. You know what? I, I like that more than a heart piece because I kind of want that bridge built. I want, I'm once again asking you for your financial support. Well, uh, I guess we're not getting the desert portal. GG's Illatox. There's a Tell portal us over where there. It is. Tell us where it is. You... Alright, next back to the lake, I guess. Surely we're not going to have to come back to the desert again. Right? One more time! One more time! We've only been going two hours, by the way. Only two hours? Wow. Feels like we've been going a lot less than that. Time is just flying. Giant unnatural splinter. I, was there? I didn't see nothing like that. I think you're making shit up. <laughs> I'll look up a picture of where the uh, warp point is. Is this a bombable rock? Oh, I already have bombs out. I haven't got any more, uh, any more bombs. I guess the chests are usually okay, only in dungeons. Okay, go, to the, it's go back to the map. Uh, uh, go, zoom out, go. So go, bottom left. Bottom left, like uh, this area? There. It's there. Oh. That's why we weren't able to find it, because it's out of the fucking way. Yeah, why would I ever go to that part of the desert? Explore everything? Nah. You two are blind. Eh, I'm, I'm cool with that. I looked at that, and I'm just like, nah, there's probably a piece of heart there. But... Now, how am I going to get up here, I wonder? Oh, there's vines. Can I? Maybe I can hook shot to those. Haha, spot check successful. You got him. I'm not dumb, you're dumb. You, you've, uh, you've done the, uh, the 
the uh, tactical advantage, advantageous thing of looking up in a video game. Hey, you know what? No one really liked the uh, the Triforce hunt in Wind Waker. It really turned a lot of people off of the game, but uh, I still want to do it anyway. Let's just tone it down a little bit. We don't need to just. remove it entirely. Just just a little bit. We'll make just. it a little less shitty. Just a little shittiness is okay. Just a touch. A tad. There's a right amount of shittiness. Ah! Oh! What? I, it won't fit in my, my wallet. How big's my... We only have 300 wallet? Yeah. I don't know where the bigger ones are. I looked that up. Uh, I think this game introduced the Tycoon's wallet. Or maybe that's the randomizer only. Okay. Twilight Princess, bigger wallet. Oh, we're not playing the HD version, right? Uh, no. Okay. Maybe that. Maybe that's what that added. Maybe the Tycoon was in the HD version. Link's initial wall can hold a mere 300 rupees. Uh, so in order to obtain the big wallet, you need to deliver one of the golden insects to Agatha, which holds 600 rupees. Just one? Just the one. If you want to get a bigger wallet, you need to deliver all 24 insects to Agatha. That'll give you the 1,000 rupee wallet. I, I wouldn't mind finding one insect. I, I haven't seen any yet, I don't think. Okay. Where is the insect? Oh. Fi finding just one sounds perfectly reasonable. Alright, golden bug locations. Uh... Uh, male ant, Kakariko Village Graveyard. Male ant? Oh, it's different types Old of ant. bugs? Yeah, ant, beetle, butterfly, dayfly, dragonfly. Well, hold on, have we got. Hopper, what bugs do we have? Ladybug. We have none. We have no. Oh, we have bugs. Because, yeah, we've we found bugs. I guess we just I'm didn't. Like the tournament. The we just didn't give them to her? That's why she was mad at us when she left. I know you have bugs. holding out on me. Well, I didn't know. Oh, are these things, like, special or something? I've, I've been eating them. <laughs> Rough. <laughs> I've been eating them. <laughs> Deadpan likes to say that shit. What'd you do with my bugs? I've been eating them. Just be another hundred rupees that we can't carry. Yeah. Can you just like hold it in your hand until we get there, Link? No, we just just fucking go and uh You know where the owl locations are? That's where they like the rupees are. Yeah, these two are at least close by. I have to do the statue stuff again if I want the rupees, but.
I feel like they wanted you to use the the scope for that like western section because they yeah. they sent us a letter about it being available in the shop. Hey, hey, you want to have a good time doing this? Get the scope. Actually, no, they didn't. They sent us one for uh for the bomb shop, but not Malomar. It's just, a, it's just well, yeah. You're right about that, but you know. All right, we where, where are we going? We're going to Agatha. Yeah. Took us like nine streams to meet her. <laughs> yep, we, and we finally did, and we didn't even give her the fucking insects. Give me my fucking bugs. Still, guy's still there. <clears throat> Y'all got any golden bugs? You brought a bug for the ball. Yeah, we did get the ants. Golden bodied male ant. I have an insect for you. Oh boy, you're a male ant. I might mistake you for a grain and put you in my cereal. On second thought, I'm taking this back. Guess some might consider me a poor-mannered princess. Now on, if you bring me insects, I'll share my happiness with you. Is that money? Oh, she'll pay you. <clears throat> if any bug becomes part of a pair, I think I'll be able to share great happiness. Well, okay, sure. fortunately for us... We have two, well, we have one pair. Yeah. These two must, must have been dummy obvious, because they're the first two. Yeah. I don't remember where we found them. It was probably like two years ago. How much will she give us for a pair of insects? Well, how okay. Okay, yep. Probably did, what, she'll probably give just 50 for a, uh, Single one. 50 or 20? I'm gonna guess 20. Okay, 50. Okay. Yeah. So each pair you give her will get will give you 150. Golden body might actually be a female, what? You don't know. Just once I'd like to take a bath in that snail slime. What? Agatha. Chill out. You're weird. As long as you keep paying me, I don't give a fuck. Is this money, and then skipping past the text that would tell you what it is? Well, I knew we were getting the wallet. We, we discussed that previously. Why did people lose half-open castle gates? Who's gonna attack us in the middle of the day? Open it or close it. Pick one. Open or close. How about neither? Oh, you! Is you it from Agatha? Does she want more bugs? From yeah, yes. it is. But, 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 hey, find any more bugs, bugs yet? They need more bugs. <laughs> Agatha's dream. Agatha had a dream last night. Butterflies surrounded Agatha and lifted her up into the sky. She waved to the people below in Castletown. She could see so many people, some waving back, others staring wide-eyed. Agatha flew in a big circle above Hyrule Field, and the butterflies formed into a bed beneath her and said, Let's play again. One day. She wants butterflies, I guess. One day you'll fly, Agatha, and uh, you'll be able to fight the forces of 
Ganondorf and, and Wizro and that, that boob lady. I forget her name. Yeah, lady what? What, who, 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 Sia? That was her, that was Sia, yeah. Probably should have made the deposit before I came back here. But she did! grab onto the statues. That'd be too easy. Yeah, we gotta move them with the rod. Alright, so 500. I guess we can offload some of that uh, cash to, uh, to the to the bridge building coalition. Coalition of Builders of the Bridge. <laughs> Heal me. I require healing. Sorry, what's this? Are you Goron? Nyara Munyara. I I knew you would come. It's Xavier, Renegade Goron. <laughs> Did you not see a young Goron in trouble in Castle Town? Town Town. I would go to his aid in a moment, but with that bridge still needing repairs, it is impossible. Perhaps his Fortunes will turn for it. Oh, you decided to Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't realize you were, uh... Consider donating a contribution to the fundraising to help me and mine. Did raising you bring a, uh, my money? Raising a, uh, enough money to build a bridge does sound like a Xavier Renegade Angel plot, honestly. I'm not and going to pay any of it myself, of course. And it's like the, the uh... The bridge is actually metaphorical. Yeah. We're gonna build a metaphorical bridge. We're gonna bridge like, hearts oh, and dang, minds. What are, the, what are the construction workers doing here? You all meditate. You can build the bridge in thought. And, and then they meditate, and they're actually starting to build a bridge in the plane of meditation. I think that's that's how that would work. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I wonder if there's a fan demand for uh, more more Xavier. There's like is anyone trying to bring it back. There are people that unironically love Xavier to get Angel more than Rick and Morty. Oh, I'm sure. And uh, to, to be quite honest, I'm I, I kind of find myself in that camp some days. I'm just wondering if there's like an official fan project or anything. I uh, I found well, out the other day and I showed you. There is apparently like a full website and fan project for people who want Cosmo to be brought into the Sonic canon. Yeah, is that... I, I, yeah, it'd be interesting that would happen, but it's not. Yeah. Really, tree people don't make the best. Well, it, it... Oh, it shows us the ones that are left on the on the map. Well, the ones that... I guess it's not the ones that are left, because we've done two of these. No, it just shows them on the map. Literally, that's it. Oh, hey, that just is there. Thank <laughs> you. 
I wonder if there's anything up here. Uh, climb up and find out. Probably another chest or something. I'm gonna guess a whole lot of nothing. Yep. Not a... Fine, you can just uh reset it again. Oh, is it night coming already? All because I can't just like hook shot to chess in this game. How much do you think it'll take to like fucking I I I, I don't know by the town? That's what like Hyrule right? Castle Town? No, to buy the, the market, like, for so that they can sell their shit. That's a good question. Is, are they gonna try to, like, fundraise there as well? I'm guessing that's what they're going to do. The bridge is only phase one, you need to... Alright, we got those two. There's none up here. So we should only have the ones left in the uh, Kakariko area. These two. What the? That's uh, you. I didn't know they were in this game. They're, they were subtle. I think we we saw them. We just forgot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do I want to move this? It seems like that was making the path to the chest, in this case. Jack, we're almost done. Stay with me. I know. <laughs> this is, this is, if I was trying to seriously push through the game, this is probably the part where I, where I would just drop it and be like, okay, I wonder, I wonder what's, uh, what's on wrongworld.com. Is it raining? Oh, oh, it's okay. Yeah, it is. Cool. I guess. Rupees. Hundred rupees. At least, at least we get some rewards in addition to the owl statues. Yeah, especially since we're financing the fucking bridge construction project. We're gonna build the bridge, and we're gonna make the hero pay for it. That's where the bridge disappeared. You'll just fall into the gorge if you go there. What was the fucking point of us getting the warp point then? That's the, okay, so we have a tangible reward. We uh, build the uh, bridge. No, that's a different uh, bridge. I think. Is that the one we're building? I don't know. Is I thought it? it was like immediately east of, of Castletown. That's the one where like the Goron is sad because there's no bridge, I thought. We build the bridge. Sam Porter Bridges. That got a sequel. Yeah, I saw it. It was I was I was surprised. I'm like, wait, what? I wonder, did it sell well despite like people kind of laughing at it? Weird people laugh. Some people actually really liked it. It's a bold new uh, genre, the strand-like games. I 
get that meme. Making this this uh this trip for now the third time this stream. Yep, because the bridge is out and we can if only we had the ability to uh rebuild it, but we don't have the necessary funding right now. Maybe you wouldn't have the bridge plot problem if you weren't blind. What? <laughs> you you are the most shade throwing least helpful viewer, Illatox. I mean, we unlocked the warp point last time. It didn't fucking help us, obviously. Yep. Unfortunately. I'm just unable to dodge those tech tights. So, uh... It's the last one. We're gonna do it. We're gonna, we're gonna do it. We'll, we'll unlock the skybook, and then, uh... You know. So, there is a, uh... I don't remember if I've mentioned this. There is a fan project to make a dual randomizer between Ocarina and Majora. Similar to yeah, you mentioned that. Similar um, to the Link to the Past Super Metroid thing. Yeah, how's that going? You have a. I don't know. It's progressing apparently. Maybe it'll be ready by the time uh, next summer comes around. That'd be cool. So it'll give us something to do. Okay. Yeah. Owl statue. Where you at? There is a rock. <laughs> yep. 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 I have one bomb. Better make it count. Alright, cool rock. Is it up there? Gonna be the hardest one is gonna end with just like like the impossible one. How do I catch these things? What, the bugs? Yeah. Uh Gale Boomerang, try that. I got it. It's a female phasmid. Stick phasmid? bug meme. Oh yeah, those things are. Do you think we can catch a rod? Uh. They're faster than the human eye can see. Oh yeah. Uh. <clears throat> this place looks new. Where are we? Have we been here? Oh, these are the steam vents. I guess. Is this where the owl statue is? I have a feeling it's not. Why would the wolf be more capable of catching the bugs? I, d I don't know. Like, sniff it out. I, I don't look at me. I was trying to eat them. <laughs> If this is where the thing is, then this is a mean place for it. Okay, it is not. I think. Uh... I feel like this is perhaps a place that we have been before. Ha! <laughs> 
Maybe it's just like on the bridge. Maybe I should just look on the bridge. Ow. Oh look, Park is still there. What a good horse. I haven't left in 50 years. This is all because you're too much of a bitch to make this jump. I physically can't, you fool. There it is. Get out of here. You can use a scope. Nah. Hit scan. All right, final thing. No dude. What, no what? All right, I, the skybook appears to be complete. Finally. Allow us to check the skybook. Cool. Good book. Got it. Probably give it back to uh, the uh, dude. So is that, he is uh, he still in Kakariko? I hope. Where, where, where's he gonna go? There or the bar was the uh, place he usually hung out. Marker is still here, so hopefully he too is still here. Maybe we just need to show the book to the statue here. Maybe that'll, like, blow up its eye or some shit. Show How you doing? And then... Cool. Cool camera. Hey, I, I filled the book. No thanks to you. You suck. Okay, he did show us where the statues were, at least. Yes, there are more letters now. This is amazing! Amazing! This must be the word we need! Let's try it immediately! All that to just make a hole in the statue. Yeah, now we can move the statue. Isn't it exciting? What could this mean? I need to cool off before I mull the problem further. Yeah, get out of here. Oh, the book's gone. We gave it to him. Good. It's one, one less item in our shit ring. Yeah. It's... Thought I saw Poe. No. We still need to give him, like, check in after a while just to see if, uh... We're gonna use a cannon to shoot ourselves up, huh? We're gonna use another cannon. Oh, hello. How in blazes did you move that statue? And what's this? Don't worry about it. Amazing, spectacular! This must be the sky cannon I read about in my father's notes! I knew that my intuition was onto something when it led me here. How can one- Gee, I fucking wonder! How will this help us reach the sky? Hmm. If we could get this to work. In order to get it to work, you'll need to go to these ten places around Hyrule in order to activate the cannon! That, oh man, just, we gotta make him wait for the final fucking God. Uh, a warp, I guess. What do you think we should do with it? You might figure something out if, I, if you try to move it. Oh, we're gonna move it somewhere, okay. I'll carry it for you if, if I don't mind. 
Why don't we show it to someone who might know something about it? Okay. We're gonna replace the lake cannon? I guess. It's the only other cannon. Yeah. That Back. guy's... We have to... Hey, leave. I need you to leave right now. Yes. Yes. Try and have a moment. With Midna. Oh, okay, bye. Let me give you one last piece of advice. That seems to be broken, so you'd do well to show it to a cannon expert first, I should say. Yo, what do you know about ancient bird cannons? This is the second time we are uh, just teleporting a, a giant artifact elsewhere to high elsewhere in Hyrule. All right, away we go. Now let's put it in Castle Town, right in the middle of town. We're gonna drop the fucking turret in there. It's like this is for defense against like zeppelins. Maybe we should like ask the cannon guys first. They won't mind. Hey, we gave you a gift. Okay. Well, it didn't smash into, like, their house in their existing cannon as I thought it would. So that's good. Alright, so our plan is to get to the entrance of the temple and then we'll call it for the day. Cool, yeah. Yeah, and then we'll get to the temple, which is probably going to be marginally more interesting than... Well, it depends on the temple. Maybe this will be very interesting. I never thought you'd get so hooked on fantastication that you'd try to build your own cannon! Are you going to give me the tour or what? Looks like you have a serious rig over there. Kind of, uh, retro, eh? Huh? There's no ignition device, so you can't even use it. Suppose I might be able to fix it for you. I mean, maybe. That is, if you can pay me 300 rupees in advance. 300? Oh my god! I don't know, this thing looks pretty complicated. Yeah, if you want this done right, you're gonna have to pay for it. Do we not have 300 rupees because we contributed to the fucking bridge contract? <laughs> the bridge fund! <laughs> Mallow wins again! Hey, we got a new bug. Just give it to Agatha and we'll have enough money to set the cannon. That's true. Saved by Agatha. We're gonna get there at night, and our door's gonna be locked. <laughs> now, I'm in a hurry, not now! It's a letter from Shad. Hey, uh, where'd the cannon go? <laughs> Never mind what happened, how did this happen? After we potted, I tried that word on all the statues I could find in Hyrule, but it was a disaster! How disappointing! If I let something so small get to me, my dear father will scoff at me from beyond the mortal coil. Going back to the sanctuary in Kakeriko Village. Okay. He's just gonna hang out there, I guess. Are we done with the bar? I hope so. Well, you don't like going to visit Telma? She makes me uncomfortable sometimes. Mm, honey, you do go on. Go on. You 
go on. You still out here? He's, he just hangs out outside her house 24 hours a day, telling people not to see her so that he can have a monopoly on Agatha. Yeah. Alright. Let's stick. You're a little female phasmid. I want to tie your antenna into bows. Don't Please do don't that, do though. That. Well, all right, now we can. Now what we can cruel build joke the would game. it be if it was just that particular bug didn't give you fifty rupees? Oh, it is like forty nine. You know, just here have what? a heart piece. Don't want a heart piece. I need cash. All right. That looked like the old ninja lady. I wonder if they reused the model. Probably. Alright, now it's time to, uh... I'm gonna take a quick look outside east of town to confirm if there is, in fact, a bridge there. Or if that is the bridge we're rebuilding. It makes sense, I guess, if there's a bridge missing and we can't use that warp point. No, there's a bridge here. Alright, I guess that is the one we're fixing. Alright, don't mind me. I'm just gonna transform in front of these moblins. Get out of here. Can't hit me. Iframes. Got your blood money. That thing over there! How about 300? Sound good? Yeah, here's your fucking 300 rupees. I knew you'd see the light, buddy. Go. All is working as it should. Probably. It's may, working. May look like junk, but this thing's got some powerful innards. Can be knocking on the door to the heavens. Knock, knock, knocking. Even. Knocking on heaven's door. Sorry for soaking you in the dough. I'll leave you alone. Anyway, thanks for the money. <laughs> All right, well, let's, uh, end with a bang. <coughs> we just, uh... Oh, we got a hook shot inside. I sure hope this is auto-loading. Okay, Uku was just here. It's mobile. It's a fucking Metal Gear. It can fire a nuke from anywhere. A nuke or the equivalent. Or, or a link. A nuke or a link. That's, uh, that's some excellent aim. I'm glad we landed in the right spot. Gracious, we made it back, finally. Welcome, this is the Sky City of the Uka. Since you came all this way, I guess I can give you a tour of the city. 
Wait, Yuka Roots? Oh my god. There's, there's a dragon. Is it a robot dragon or just a regular dragon? I couldn't tell. Cyber dragon. Okay, please shut the fuck up. I hear you. Oh no, there's more of them. There's a dragon raging outside the city walls. Oh, he's not with them. I'm going to check. There's an Uku shop. Okay. Well, I guess if we're stuck up here, there would have to be a shop. Let's check the shop. What are your where? Oh my god. What you got a wear? weed problem. It's It looks like the Teletubby house on the inside. It looks like something out of Morrowind. These things were inspired by, uh, what was this? I think it was a Salvador Dali painting had one of these guys in it. Oh. Well, highly enough. I, I speak a little Hylian. You understand me? Oh, gosh. Bombs? Bombs, arrows, lantern oil, and potions. No rope, we really though. Have one bottle, by the way. Yeah. Why did I invest in stock that the Uka can't use? I figured out that Uka don't have bows after I ordered these. <laughs> well, fortunately, we... So we... I feel like we should probably... Uh, will we need lamp oil? I don't know. I don't know. We'll come back if we need it. We know where the yeah. shop is at. Yep. Are you guys price gouging? All right, well, uh, next time we'll have our uh, Skyward City adventure. We're gonna come up to this city and we're gonna be like, wait, where the fuck are we? Well, we can't- we literally can't get lost and go anywhere else. We're presumably stuck in the city for the time being. Surely there's no way we can fuck up the start of the next stream. Surely there is not. <laughs> but, uh, that's it for today. I'm gonna, again, optimistically hope that we have two more streams of this remaining. Optimistic, but uh, we'll see. They do some that light. this game likes to surprise us in yeah. the best of ways. All right, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. See you next time.